You are being considered for the amazing opportunity of life. If you are selected, you will have the chance to be born in a fruitful environment where you can grow, develop, and accomplish. Am I dead? I wouldn't say you're alive or dead. Are you the boss? I would say a cog in the wheel. <laughs> How long is this process? If you make it until the end. Nine days. senses will become unbearably sharper and stronger. <laughs> it's your new beginning. You'll never remember me or anything else that happened in this place. Ah. But you still be you. Every single day, someone hurts someone else. Every single day, someone takes someone else's life. Why are you focusing on that? Why are you not focusing on that? You've been here a few days, but you've lived every second. Ah. Are you afraid? Of what? Nine days. Nine days. <laughs> hey. Hello, Adam. Hey there, how are you? Hello, how's it going? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's well, can I answer any questions? Oh, wait, no, I'm supposed to ask the question. <laughs> can I ask a question? <laughs> That's one of my dad jokes. Um, congratulations. No, thank you. How's the, how was the last weekend? Uh, I know it's... Yeah, oh, it's amazing, yeah. North very nerve, last Friday. Yeah, very nerve-wracking, to be honest. It's just like uh, first, first time you're releasing a movie, you know? So it's like usually you're, you're just putting like, um, you know, a short film online and then you see some people, some of your friends say, oh yeah, this is awesome, this is great. And, uh, and that's it, you know? But uh, it, was, it was kind of a, um, amazing, overwhelming, all of this world experience and uh, going to some Q&As, you know, and, and seeing the, the way people, you know, um, receiving the movie it was, it was pretty special. I bet. Um, by the way, uh, you know, I had on your your editor, or at least your how would you describe your first editor? Your Michael I design. I don't want to. Yeah, Michael. I didn't want to give a particular. I don't know how it was broken up, but but mm -hmm. anyway, he's an old friend. So so oh, I talked. Was, to, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I so love we did. Taylor, yeah. We did one of these things that we're doing here, uh, mm -hmm. like a week or two ago. Uh, and then I was able to, you know, at least use that to, I mean, he's, we spoke for like 90 minutes. So <laughs> <laughs> Michael, yeah, we can speak <laughs> to Michael for like uh, hours. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, and part of it is because he's so, I mean, I don't know as many people that are as enthusiastic about yes, their work yeah, yeah. and about independent film yeah, yeah. then Michael, he, I, I really just, I don't, or just film in general. I don't know anybody else who's as, you know, as knowledgeable, passionate, and excited, you know, than than Michael. He's just like it, a child. Yeah. When it comes and have to you music. worked with him, editing something for you? He's no, just, I, I he's, haven't. But uh, it, that that dude is just like he he's is a beast. He's just like it was funny because when we started the process, it was with uh, the other editor who was working with us um, at the beginning, Zach. Uh, and then we were just like, and he doesn't. You know, he, he, he doesn't go home. He doesn't do his stuff. He's just like stay there and like, whereas we very early, you know, and just like he, he, he works like, a, you know, as 18 year old kid, you know, just right. like as yeah. your first job. He's just yeah. like, but you could yeah, say, but Michael, you're not the intern. You, you can just, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, you know, you're in charge that. of the editor. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, so he put this on my radar and, and you can see he's been promoting the crap out of your movie. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. 
Um, you are the writer director of Nine Days, which is mm -hmm. currently in theaters in New York and LA. It's opening, mm -hmm. it's expanding, I should say, yeah. this Friday, August 6th, nationwide. So it's a huge, mm -hmm. big deal. Mm -hmm. Big, mm -hmm. right? It was a success at Sundance last yeah. year, 2020. Yeah, yeah, like uh, 18, 16 months ago, kind of. A while, a while ago. The world was totally different. It was a different world. But, uh, yeah, it's yeah. a long journey to get here, huh? But long, um, long So you wrote this. Um, now, it's a, such a, literally a soulful story. I mean, uh, uh -huh. it's about souls uh -huh. um, who you, you know, uh, I guess given human traits to, uh, uh -huh. but can you talk uh -huh. about the, uh, a little bit about like where this idea for the story came um i i think like for for the 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 word i think comes a lot from you know uh um my desire of making something that was i think there's so much so many things about like afterlife you know in in, in the sense and I, I, th I thought like uh creating something about the before life would somehow even help me see some kind of meaning, you know, in this, in, in what I was going through. I think I was going through some difficult times in, in my life at, at the time. And then and, and I think when you go through moments like that, it's just easy for you to just lose perspective. And uh, so focus on what you don't have or future and this kind of stuff. And that you, um, you, you I think you, you don't see much of uh, what, what's in front of you, uh, the, 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 what's, what's happening in the now. So I thought like would be interesting just to have this uh, pre-war where you, uh, I think people who are here, they, they, they were the winners of this war and now here, they're here to just like enjoy or take advantage of the moment and see that actually what we're living here, like it's pretty special. So I think the war comes from, comes from that kind of um, you know, concept. And then, yeah. And then the characters have another inspiration uh, that's even more personal, but do you want me to talk about, about yeah, that? Yeah, please. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, the the protagonist, uh, Will. Will. Um, Winston Duke. Yeah, Winston Duke's character. Yeah, yeah they don't know who Will is, but uh, uh, Winston Duke. Um, yeah. in he, uh, I wrote him inspired by an uncle of mine, very sensitive person, very kind soul. And uh, when he was 50, he committed suicide. And at the time, I was 12. And I wasn't, I didn't have this strong connection with him. And, uh, but when he, you know, he did it, he kind of, for me, he became his final act. And for me, it was like, he was almost like this representation of someone I couldn't be like him. I couldn't, you know, follow his steps. And it was a shame. It was embarrassed, you know, to just, uh, you know, um, think that maybe one day I could become more like him. And it was interesting because through, you know, the years somehow going through my struggles and my problems, I, I start seeing that I was becoming more like him and that, uh, from that realization and going through you know those difficult times i think i was able to have more empathy uh for him and uh, understand more him where he's coming from and i think from that empathy it was just like uh i start connecting with him and and uh, from that connection between me and him uh by I, I start writing will got you um yeah he's going through quite the existential mm -hmm. um period you know i mean he's yeah he's um sort of at an uh some sort of crossroads you know mm -hmm. where right um and i think uh, what triggers it is uh he's one of the souls that he's approved right that he chose mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. move into a human uh life on earth um has died and it seems to really have triggered something yeah yeah Right, like maybe yeah. he knows in his heart. I don't want to give away too much of the story, uh -huh, but maybe. Uh -huh. But as you're talking about it, maybe he will knows in his heart that what what happened to her. Yeah, I think and maybe so. it's just yeah. too. It's too just. You know, he doesn't want to kind of admit it. Yeah, do, do, when, when you're watching, you 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 thought you, you felt like he he knew it. And, and no, I was talking still to like you. A... Maybe it's kind of coming more to me as we're we're talking and. Uh -huh. um, you know, it, what I appreciate about the movie, but what people, of course, always, mm -hmm. I mean, this is always, as I'm sure a storyteller, what you grapple with is mm -hmm. how much mm -hmm. do you tell people and how much do you let them arrive at on their own, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. you know, what I experienced, of course, mm -hmm. as you know, from talking mm -hmm. to people who've seen your movie, mm -hmm. Nine mm -hmm. Days, is that we could have very different ideas about yeah. Yeah. what's going on. Like, why is Benedict uh, 
Benny uh, Wong's character, right? He's he's there and like, wait, so who's this guy and what is he? <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, how, how come he's there? Like what uh-huh. if he was rejected? Uh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. He's one of the souls that was rejected yet he's hanging out at this at this place which looks like a house. Uh-huh. feels like a house mm-hmm. smells like a house <laughs> uh-huh. so you know i guess you could sort of just derive at whatever conclusions you want to and yeah no yeah yeah it, it's, and and where it's is this place it's yeah. interesting that interpret that he he's one of the souls rejected because actually i never i never i never say that in the movie okay but but it, but, it, but it not not that it's right or wrong but it's interesting that you 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 put the 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 meaning which which i think is is amazing i, I think thought, that, yeah i thought i read it but maybe i'm just like again, no but it's great but it, but it's yeah. great because you somehow you you felt like about that for him so right. yeah so what, well, i'm writing means, the se- like, his the sequel which is his story or it's yeah a prequel. it's it a could prequel, be like prequel i think it could be prequel yeah yeah prequel. No, but it, but it's interesting you saying that because for me um th- those are things that as long as it doesn't you know doesn't go to too much of conf- confusion mm-hmm. and me people just like you know like not want to watch anymore and say what what the heck you know is this going on and they, they can't say anything but it, as long as you know have uh, you know keep people engaged and, and they come with their interpretations and what they you know from, from what they they want to understand or understand from the movie i i, I love that i love just like people having these different conversations and and and, and kind of interpretations and it's it's pretty cool that you, you're bringing that Thing that up to be honest, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, um, I was very curious from you because I'm like, this is a universe nobody. I don't remember ever seeing anybody kind of explore it in this kind of way. This idea of, mm-hmm. you know, and and yet you somehow managed to write this, direct it, shoot it. I mean, direct it, shoot it, mm-hmm. edit it, have it edited, put it out there. Accepted by Sundance, um, which is not an easy task, especially for a mm-hmm. first-time feature filmmaker, right? Your your mm-hmm. first feature, right? It's my first feature, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's a very uh, unusual, experimental type of idea for a film. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And yet, no, it's going to be in lots and lots of theaters, and people can stream it. And um, yeah, yeah. Now, now it's gonna. It's not a movie that people are gonna uh, stream first. It's more like a. a, a theatrical uh, experience so sony classics is um you know marketing this movie and then we're gonna go for movie theaters first and then i think right. after you know we're in the theaters and then it started like streaming yeah let me rephrase eventually stream eventually streaming yeah eventually streaming. first let's see if we can get people back in theaters to see mm-hmm. movies that have um you know narrative like narratively driven and and character driven uh-huh I guess yeah. they're all narrative driven, but character driven. Mm-hmm. Um, and you've got Zazie Beats, who's mm-hmm. terrific in it, and David Riestal. There is that, huh? Tony Hale, Bill Sars- Skarsgård. So if you chock full of these types of popular actors, mm-hmm. that helps. Yeah, but in which sense do you think it helps? Well, like, because uh, you've written a story that uh-huh. I think you know you're 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 you're. At, asking the audience to kind of lean into the story a bit uh-huh. because it's not what we're used to where it's like this you know literal more literal story that we can all relate to M- most uh-huh. of us haven't been in uh, this uh, limbo space uh-huh. that you've created in, out of your mind not, not that even, we know not that we know maybe you that, well yeah we don't remember we don't remember yeah, yeah. maybe you're there yeah so maybe you have <laughs> so maybe you're lucky maybe you, you you just happen to be the guy that remembers. It's just a guy remembers. <laughs> maybe there's but, nothing creative about your script at all. No, maybe no. Maybe just... I'm the only one who remembers. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm just writing something that's uh, totally out autobiographical. Yeah. It's just like I'm. It's my. Yeah. And, so, and... Did, who did you talk to, or who did you uh, work with to kind of create this world, uh, uh-huh. and the choices of like how it looked, the, okay. tel- the uh, yeah. TV monitors. This is in the this house. <clears throat> uh-huh. We we we're looking at this space and it's a seems to be a house because uh-huh. we yeah. we can yeah. understand what a house is so you uh-huh. give it as a house to look where will works out of and he's choosing who which souls are going to become people and mm-hmm. then he gets to watch them down on earth through these this bank of of tv uh-huh. screens right mm-hmm. these are all choices you that were born yeah. out of your head yeah. right yeah yeah i think first start with the script in a sense like what what how how can it create a connection between Will who choose those souls and 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 the um, and their life they live in 
you know, from that point on, you know, so I, I need this kind of connection, like, uh, to show that we would see what they're, you know, seeing. And so um, I felt like TVs would be a, a good way to, you know, show that connection. And then through their POV, you're able to just follow them through, you know, this, uh, their, their life. So um, that, and then from like, okay, I, I need like a wall of TV. So then my question is the, how can I, what's, what's the best way to just show it? Um, so we, we usually have like conversations with like uh, the, the DP, the production designer, production designer has conversations with like set designer and, and everyone. So, it, and, and so I, I was just like trying to um, create this word for, for the script. And, uh, and the way we did, it was just like, oh yeah, it would be cool if this, everything that's in this word represented somehow like the time when Will uh, died. So mm -hmm. he, I imagine like he died in the eighties. So everything that you see comes from, you know, right. the eighties uh, uh, look like uh, tube TVs, uh, VHS, and you, you're ne never going to see anything that's, you know, like an iMac, you know, you know, never see like an iPad and, and not, not there, you know, nothing against, you know, Apple or anything, but it's just like, uh, because it, it was, it, it was from that the other time. And for me, it was interesting because that time had something very nostalgic to it. And, uh, so yeah, I think it started with this concept, and as I gave this concept to to the crew and team, they start bringing ideas and 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 showing me like, oh, what if you go this way or that way? And then I start also bringing ideas and showing pictures and this kind of stuff. So until we get to a point that we kind of okay, we're in the same page here. So now let's just you know, uh, uh, you know do some adjustments, and and then you start just seeing uh, what what you saw in the movie. Okay, so you didn't just dream this up and, uh, and wake up with it all. Okay. I, uh, that, yeah, uh, it's, it, it's, sorry to disappoint you, but yeah, yeah I, I wish. Um, uh, well, did you guys, um, did, how did you, did, did you, where did you guys rehearse? Did you have a time to rehearse? I know in productions like this, you generally don't, but it seems like to me that this, came almost that especially that last portion of the film took a tremendous <laughs> tremendous, tremendous the, amount of work yeah no it, uh, i think we had like two weeks to rehearse oh, wow before, that's before not the, typical it, yeah which is not typical and um it, it, it it's interesting it, it was more like we, we went through kind of most of the scenes with winston and then you know the, the other actors the souls and then uh, um it, it Funny thing is just we, the last scene is the one that we didn't rehearse at all. So it was more like about, yeah, it was more like, yeah. a, well, of course, we, Winston, he Right, he had to work and, on it for quite a yeah, while. It's a very long a yeah. but then uh, I think performance, it, if you will. Yeah, but there's something about not rehearsing and just um, coming and, and, and performing that's very similar to the experience that Will in the movie had to go through. So uh, I think somehow helped just like, okay, go there. And it was interesting because he shot the scene like in less than it's almost, almost like almost like two hours or less than two hours because we had like this you no know, sun sun setting and it was just like okay let's just start oh, right. rolling and um and we and 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 for me my direction is more like yeah you you both do your thing just uh and uh and i'm gonna, I'm gonna be here and then i gave like more specific direction in terms of yeah, don't just don't touch each other you, you're each in, the, in this space but uh, you can interact with another, just see what, what's you know, natural for you to do at the, this moment. And then, um, and then I just step back and, and watch them doing their thing. You know? And then the direction is more like for, for the cinematographers, just follow them because they, they are leading the scene because the, the rest of the movie is so, you know, in sense of, uh, I, I, I control so much in a sense of what I see and what the audience sees and, how the actors are going to interact and everything. And then I think that scene was so much about the freedom, you know, yeah. of, uh, they're, they're doing whatever they want. Uh, and, and I think it was a good decision because they, they came up with so many interactions and, you know, the energy and, and that, that wouldn't be able to, if I was just, you know, uh, designing beat by beat that scene. Uh, again, called Nine Days, which refers to the typical length of time that Will observes and well he gives assignments to his mm -hmm. souls and then mm -hmm. over the course of nine days he then by the end of that period he will have kind of made his choice and of course they're all like childlike and well not all of them 
uh, Zazie's character is not. She <laughs> could care less, but uh, but most some of them are kind of like you know they're really you know they've got a lot of uh, um, anticipation, hope that they get chosen, of course. So, mm. uh, where by the way, where where are you right now? I'm in LA. I'm uh, my oh, apartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm in LA. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, what about okay. you? Yeah, I'm up in the Hudson Valley, north of New York City. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. So I was trying to uh, get Michael Taylor to come visit at some point. <laughs> so okay. Cool. We we it, made trips that, up right around how, here. In the past. Yeah. How hot yeah. is it now? Is it too super hot? In New York? Oh, uh, no. Right now we're going through a kind of a mild. It's getting going to creep back up. No, oh, okay. we've been in a very very mild um, week or so. Very dr absence absent of humidity. Oh no, and, yeah, uh, that's good. Yeah, is, the humidity there is like yeah. Yeah, really it can bad. be bad. But uh, I I was in LA just recently twice. Oh, cool. So I, I, right before they started to really panic about the V word, you know what I'm talking about? V? <laughs> it begins with a V. But, well, what people are okay. panicking about now, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, but I want to, uh, I know as fascinating as this is for everybody to listen to us talk about humidity, um, <laughs> <laughs> I want people to give this film, to, to give it a shot, go see it, because it's... Um, you know, it's just that kind of movie which, you know, will engage you and make you think about this stuff, you know, and and it's not um, a blockbuster, you know, and but it, it'll 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 I think uh, it'll feel real good to see it. So I, I want people to see it. And there's such fine performances in it. Yeah, that's yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we we're we're ready, you know, um, in theaters, um, L.A. And, and New York. And then this weekend we just like explode, uh, like, yeah. explode uh, across the country yeah you, yeah it'll be country, as yeah. many it'll be on more screens than are in winston's living room yes it'll be <laughs> everywhere in the then yeah. the moon and the mars and yeah 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 this is like for for later well let's do do this again hopefully with uh, maybe your next project yeah that'd be cool thank you so much Adam. it was was nice talking to you it was nice to meet you too have a good bye-bye Thank you.